So today, I want to take a moment to welcome those who are subscribed to our channel. Um, we're on this adventure, this journey together. Those come in and join us for the first time. What up? How are you? Welcome to the Joseph family. And so I'm going to take a minute. I'm going to take a minute. video subscribe hit the notification button so that when we post a video you're notified right away and leave a comment leave a comment below this is our plan series we here we nurture ourselves our family members our plant babies our environment that they flourish for our own benefit and so if this is the kind of video that interests you join the family like subscribe share this video and we're talking about the pothos very easy plan to take care of and so if that interests you let's get the video going is our golden pothos so there's water in here and i'm just gonna dunk her in that is a struggle mm. got a grunt and put her in just dunk her and see her I usually have rocks on top and then I put perlites and these are all my strategies to hold off pest. You do not want pest in your house. When you're trying to eat your goosey soup and you're going to soup with your pony yam and you have these little things flying about, no, 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 no. And you guys know we enjoy food in this house. And so, when you put your finger in your soil, when you're able to get to them, they're pretty dry. They should look like this. Where's my finger? There it is, right? And so, this one needs water. So I'm gonna leave her in there for a while and bring other ones. Look at this baby. I am just seeing this, whoa. Okay, we need to repot this. Are you guys seeing this? I need to make sure you guys are seeing this. No. We need to repot her. Wow. It's been what? Two weeks? Three weeks max? That's me. This is what gets me excited. <laughs> so just leave these in the water. And they're gonna be in here for an hour or so. I'm in no rush to take them out because again. We want the soil to soak up the water. And this is a dipping method. That's what I call it. Share my plant love. And so I want you to share this plant love. Can you do that? Okay, I'm gonna give you 30 seconds. We have the pothos. There are variations actually of the pothos plant. And I have all golden pothos. How can you get your pothos to flourish where they're trailing wherever you place them four simple steps let's get into it about sun care water care food and temperature so sun care pothos are resilient they can thrive in low light they thrive but not direct do not put them in direct sunlight they will burn you will burn their leaves and you don't want to do that that's not nice. Um, what am I doing right now? I'm literally just wiping her leaves down. I use my hands, put my hands in water, right? We all like to be tended to. I hope you do. And so because of that awareness, I tend to my plants as I have feelings too. Water care very important essential for our plant babies we want to water every two weeks ideally try the finger method if the soil attaches to your fingers it's still wet so give it some time and when you are watering make sure that whatever overflows from the from the drainage of your pot you want to throw that out don't reuse that for your next plant that's that's not nice it's like showering someone with you know someone else's dirty water don't don't do that to your plant and one way to know that you're overwatering your plant the leaves turn yellow 
And so keep an eye out for that. We live in Canada, we have four seasons. And so creating the ideal temperature for our pothos is so important. This plant does well in low humidity. If your leaves turn brown, it means the air is too dry. So look into that. We are very intentional on this channel. We take care of one another and we take care of all of God's creatures around us. That being humans, that being animals, and that being plants. And Pothos aren't picky plants. Um, very easy when it comes to food soil. I would say get the miracle Grow indoor potting mix get some perlites and you're really good to go the, on this channel we we talk um we are pro therapy you thriving you growing you being healthy you being holistic is in is right is necessary is healthy and so as we are tending to our plants tending to again all of god's creatures around us that being humans and being animals that being plants um we're mindful to feed the soul to flourish this is a therapeutic thing for me to be honest um usually i do this when the kids are napping um and, and no shade. Sometimes I binge watch Netflix. And there are times when that's just, that doesn't do it for me. And so this does it for me. And so whatever it is that nourishes your soul, I do hope and I do pray that you make time to do that. Um, it makes a difference. It makes a huge difference. So I'm gonna bring her up just to get an idea because they're all lumped here. When I pulled her, mommy, hi. Annie pushed. Annie, did you push your sister? No, I pushed the, the chase car. All right, did he push the chase car or did he yeah. push up? Okay. Okay. You see, context is important. Okay, because sometimes, yeah, she can be telling tales on her brother. But I digress. Let's come back to Pothos. Um, thank you. So, <clears throat> here on this channel, we celebrate every milestone. Milestones are important. We want to have a heart of gratitude. Um, if you are grateful, no, let me repeat that. When you're thankful, your tank is always full. I'm gonna repeat that, okay? When you are thankful, your tank is always full. Mm -hmm.